hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again so hope you are all doing well we are discussing the model question paper for the mathematics subject for triple stream students we are discussing the curve fitting model 2 uh, in the previous video we have discussed about the question number third a and in this video we will discuss question number third b of the model second where we are supposed to calculate the regression lines and hence find the coefficient of correlation for the given data so data will be given and you have to calculate the lines of regression and, uh, and the coefficient of correlation okay so no need to worry as uh, there is the handbook available for you people there are some formulas uh, on this particular concept which you have to utilize in a good manner so that you can easily calculate the regression lines and coefficient correlation see here <clears throat> you are uh, in this question you are supposed to calculate x bar and y bar which is given by summation of x divided by n what is the summation of x you just sum up these x terms you will get summation of x and n, n means number of terms 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay this is all about this formula so summation of y by n means uh, you have to sum up y terms you will get summation of y divided by n just because there is the formula that is a uh, coefficient of correlation r is given by summation of x minus x bar means this x minus x bar you will get x minus x bar into y minus y bar so y is here y minus y bar you will get here y minus y bar divided by under root of summation of x minus x bar whole square once you get x minus x bar you have to square that one so that you will get summation of x minus x bar right so then summation of y minus y bar whole square means once you get summation of y minus y bar you have to square it okay then sum of the terms accordingly okay this is all about the formula so we need to calculate these parameters so that for this particular purpose you should make a box over here where you will calculate first x minus x bar y minus y bar x minus x bar multiplied by y minus y bar x minus x bar whole square y minus y bar whole square these all parameters we need in this particular formula we need summation over here okay so let me calculate first over here so that i will show you only one or two calculations rest of the calculation is yours okay it is simpler one so x minus x bar x is here one what is x bar so we have to calculate this one okay so x bar is equal to summation of x divided by n so once you sum up these uh, terms over here x right you will get summation of x is equal to 45 okay so x bar is equal to 45 divided by n means number of terms 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 9 9 terms are here so 45 by 9 is nothing but 5 so x bar value is equal to 5 in this case okay now x is 1 x minus x bar 1 minus 5 that is minus 4 okay 2 minus 5 that is minus 3 okay so then 3 minus 5 that is minus 2 and 4 minus 5 is minus 1 5 minus 5 is 0 okay i hope you are getting 6 minus 5 is 1 7 minus 5 is 2 8 minus 5 is 3 and 9 minus 5 is 4 this is all about x minus x bar now y minus y bar for that we have to calculate y bar so y bar is equal to summation of y divided by n so once you sum up y terms you will get the summation as 135 so summation of y is equal to 135 okay i am not calculating here just because the video will get long over here so i want to avoid that that thing just because we are living in the epoch where everybody wants uh, short short reels right so for that reason i'm doing the, this one so summation of y uh, by n means uh, 135 divided by 9 so you will get value as uh, 15 over here so that is your y bar value now y minus y bar means 12 minus 15 that is minus 3 11 minus 15 that is minus 4 okay 13 minus 15 that is minus 2 and 15 minus 15 is 0 14 minus 15 is minus 1, 17 minus 15 is 2, okay, then 16 minus 15 is 1, right, then 19 minus 15 is 4, and 18 minus 15 is 3, right, and we need a uh, summation for this one, x minus x bar, y minus y bar, just because in the formula, summation of x minus x bar multiplied by y minus y bar, when we calculate this term, then we have to sum up, so that we will get this summation of x minus x bar, y minus y bar over here so let me calculate now minus 4 into minus 3 that is 12 3 4s are 12 2 2s are 4 1 into 0 0 0 2 1s are 2 2 1s are 2 4 3s are 12 and 4 3s are 12 
okay when you just sum up you will get summation is equal to 56 which you have to use in that particular formula later on we will do it so x minus x bar whole square means you have calculated here x minus x bar so you have to square now 4 square is 16 3 square is 9 2 square is 4 1 square is 1 0 square is 0 1 square 1 4 and 9 4 4 are 16 here you are getting summation is equal to 60 okay then y minus y bar it's square you have to take so 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 2 square is 4 0 1 4 1 16 9 you, here you will also get summation is equal to 60 you have to add these terms you have to add this term you will get this value okay now let's proceed for the formulas and uh, put down these values in the uh, rank of correlation or coefficient of correlation you can say that r is equal to summation of x minus x bar into y minus y bar you are getting here this one summation 56 so simply write down 56 divided by under root of x uh, sorry summation of x minus x whole square so x minus x bar whole square summation you are getting 60 so root of 60 multiplied by root of summation of y minus y bar square so summation of this much term that is your 60 again so you have to calculate this one in the Kelsey over here okay so let me calculate this one so this is your 56 divided by under root of 60 multiplied by sorry I have to come out of root multiplied by under root of 60 again which is equal to 0 0.933 0 0.933 is your co coefficient of correlation over here so up to this this is the first part of the question that is uh, find the coefficient of correlation now regression lines we have to take out already i have written here the formulas now i have to put down the values okay so regression line there are two types of regression lines regression line y on x regression line x on y so first of all i will take y minus y bar first case regression line y on x y minus y bar what is the y bar value we have calculated right y bar value as 15 over here <clears throat> so y minus 15 is equal to rank correlation sorry coefficient of correlation r is equal to this one 0 0.933 multiplied by sigma y and sigma x i have to calculate first sigma y and sigma x so let me calculate here that is your 1 by n n is number of terms divided by 9 multiplied by summation of x minus x bar whole square so x minus x bar its summation is 60 so i will get sigma x value so this is your 1 upon 9 sorry under root under root of 1 by 9 multiplied by 60 which is equal to 2.5819 so 2.5819 is your sigma x value and sigma y value will be 1 by n means 9 multiplied by summation of y minus y bar is also 60 you will get the same value that is 2.5819 now you have to use these values in this particular formula that is regression line y on x so r value 0 0.933 sigma y value is 2.5819 divided by sigma x is also same value 2.5819 okay then multiplied by x x is not uh, no need to write actually you have to take the equation okay so as it is minus x bar we have calculated that is 5 now simplify this 2.5819 2.5819 gets cancelled y minus 15 is equal to 0 0.933 multiplied by this x okay minus 0 0.993 into 5 so 0.933 into 5 which is equal to 4.6 Six five, so I can write zero point nine three three x okay minus four point six six five. This minus fifteen. If I shift on the right hand side, it will become positive fifteen. And y, if I will shift, it will become minus y is equal to zero. Okay, so just uh, simplify it. That is your fifteen minus four. Fifteen minus four point six six five, which is equal to ten point three three five. So 0 0.933x minus y plus 10.335 is equal to 0. This is your regression line y on x. Now second part we have to calculate that is regression line x on y. So I can here proceed it. So x minus x bar value is already 5 over here. Okay. X minus 5 is equal to r value. We have calculated 0 0.933 multiplied by sigma x value is given here. 
2.5819 divided by sigma y is also here 5819 multiplied by y minus y bar value is 15 over here okay i hope you are getting this is your x minus 5 this will get cancelled again so 0 0.933 times y minus 15 into this so 15 multiplied by 0 0.933 which is equal to 13.995 13.995 which implies x so i can write here 0.933y minus 13.995 this 5 i will shift on the right hand side i will get positive 5 minus x okay is equal to 0 now oversimplify it so minus 13.995 plus 5 which is equal to minus 8.995 so 0.933y minus 8.995 minus x is equal to 0 this is your regression line x on y so this is all about this particular question i hope this is clear to you people so make sure you will comment down if you have some doubts you can ask in the comment section over there i welcome you all to correct my mistakes if i have done some uh, cal calculation mistakes in this particular problem you are welcome to uh, what we call share your opinions in the comment section thanks for watching my video stay blessed